Your design looks boring with no texture? Hey, I'm Fuzzy, and in this video, I will show you how to add a halftone pattern to your design to make it pop in Adobe Photoshop. To make things even easier, you can find all the font textures and material files in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Make a new project, set width and height to 2000 pixels and resolution to 300. Now import the image into the project. Now we gonna select the car using pen tool. Hit right click and choose make selection. Set the feather radius to 1 pixel and hit OK. Hit right click again and choose layer via copy. Now we have the car layer with no background. You can select the car using select subject but the result is not gonna be optimal. Now duplicate the background layer. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and select Color Halftone. You can use my settings or you can play with your own. Go to Channels. Click on green layer, press Ctrl or Command A, then Ctrl or Command C on your keyboard. Create a new layer. Press Ctrl or Command V to paste the green channel that copied before. Now you can change the blending option to overlay. Disable the duplicated layer to apply the effect. Now you can see the halftone pattern is applied, we gonna do the same with the car layer. Finally we done applying halftone pattern to both layers. Now we can start making topography label to make the design pop. I will make the label in the new project with 4000 pixels width and 1360 pixels height and 300 pixels resolution. For the font, I use Neothic and set the font size to 190. Make the gradient bar using shape tool. Change the fill color to gradient and set the dark color to 05 for C48 and set the brighter color to match the background color. Put the gradient shape below the Porsche text. Don't forget to change the angle to zero. Now, add the second text below the gradient shape. I am using 911 Porsche font and set the font size to 43.
Add the flag element to the design. I will include all the font, element, and texture on the description down below. Make a line to separate the element using Shape Tool. Now add the third text. For the third text, I am using the Bebus font and set the font size to 21. Add the second line below the third text by duplicating the first line I make earlier. Add the barcode using code 128 font and set the font size to 38. Add the next text below the barcode with Bebus font and set the font size to 11. Select the barcode layer and press Ctrl or Command plus T and stretch the barcode to match the width of the text below. Now add the next element to the design. Add the last text using Bebus font and set the size to 12.
select the area for the text. Set the justify of the text. Set the spacing to 12. Select all the layer and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus Alt plus E to combine all the layer. Now we can move the label into the halftone design we make earlier. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to resize the label to fit the design. Right click and choose rotate 90 degree clockwise and adjust the position of the label to the right. Put the label below the car layer. Add the paper texture to the design. Put the layer on top. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to resize the paper texture. Set the opacity to around 42%. Select all the layer and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus Alt plus E to combine all the layer. Go to Filter, Noise, then add Noise, and set the amount to 12. And there you have it, a nice halftone pattern effect to make your design pop and not boring. That's all for today's video, see you soon!